We all have questions about our favorite Nickelodeon shows that keep us up at night. So leave behind the reality you think you know, because this is Nickelodeon's Twisted Theory. Grandpa Phil loves a good ghost story. Are these simply tall tales meant to scare the neighborhood kids? Oh, no, sir. I'm a good boy. Or are these stories hiding a haunting truth? Consider the legend of Four-Eyed Jack. Those look like the classes of Four-Eyed Jack. A character he created to scare away the boarding house tenants from his secret bathroom. Or the legend of the ominous ghost train. I ever told you boys about the time I worked for the railroad? Yet another story he made up to entertain the kids. But if these legends are truly made up, then explain the following paranormal occurrences. Um, boo. If these ghost stories are both true, how does Grandpa Phil know about them? Does he have a connection to the paranormal? <laughs> Pretty good plan, short man. Enter the horrific reality of Judge Trudy's courtroom, where justice is served on a merciless platter alongside terrifying bipedal humanoid crustaceans. Just look at them. Could nature really produce monsters like these, or is a certain member of the court genetically modifying these poor, poor lobsters for some unknown purpose? The lobster. <laughs> some questions are better left unanswered only to be explored in your deepest, darkest nightmares. I saw a UFO. Meet Megan, preteen menace of Drake and Josh, who in her very own bedroom has an arsenal of advanced weaponry, robotics, and a state-of-the-art spying system used to torment the boys. Oh my God. Can this cachet of gadgetry be connected to aliens? One theory suggests that Megan is in fact in contact with an alien life form. In episode 316, Megan reverses a prank on her brothers with what appears to be an extraterrestrial. One would simply think it's a man in a mask, but how can a mere mortal appear out of thin air? So let's connect the dots. One nine-year-old girl, a traveling spaceman, and an arsenal of advanced technology. Could make them have a pathway to another planet. You do the math. <laughs> Here's a quandary for you. You gonna eat that taquito? If an inanimate object were to look and act like a living being, is he in fact alive? Give me a bath. Enter Rex Powers, lifeless dummy or brilliant mastermind. <laughs> to the untrained eye. He appears to be a puppet controlled by Robbie for the entertainment of his classmates. It's not good for a 16-year-old guy to go through life with his hand shoved up a bat. But who's really in control? Observe this. A puppet cannot function without the puppet master. Rex is not a puppet! But it appears Robbie is the one who cannot function without Rex. In fact, Rex has been seen on multiple occasions functioning independently from Robbie. No, no time out. Don't you put me in his backpack. I'm serious, Rob. Don't you put me in his backpack. I'm serious, Rob. Even medical experts have recognized Rex. In fact, he has a heartbeat, a human heartbeat. So who is the real puppet here? Rex or Robbie? Robbie or Rex? Cat's been telling me you've been having some pretty bad nightmares. I'm not crazy! You're so big! Have this. Rex, no! no, no. Do you have a twisted Nickelodeon theory? Let us know in the comments. Some questions are better left unanswered. Only to be explored in...